Hello, welcome to the SOLIDWORKS video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to see reference axis in SOLIDWORKS 2020. So for this purpose, you can see how created this cube and I am going to create a different different reference axes with the help of this cube. So you can select a reference axis and you can see the different different possible options inside the reference axis. You can see one line edge axis, you can see the two planes axis, uh, two planes axis and two points slash vertices. You can see uh, cylindrical or conical face if it is there and if it is there is a point and some face plane is there so you can create axes with the help of this uh, possible options so let's select our first option that is one line or edge axis so if you have some if you have some edges or lines suppose i selected this uh, edge and if you click ok you can see this edge is now available as an axis okay similarly you can again go to the second option that is two plane suppose i selected this top plane and this adjacent plane and you can see the intersection of these two planes is a line and this line is this edge so you can create this edge or this line as axis just click ok you can see this is our axis second axis again you can go to the reference axis the third option that is two points or vertices suppose i select these two points and that are the diagonals of this top face or you can and you can click ok you can create a axis that is in plane also you can uh, see that if i select this uh, uh, this end point or this uh, edge this end point and uh, this end point you can see this is a 3d diagonal of my cube and we can create this as axis simply we can create this axis for the uh, another 3d diagonal of this uh, cube okay so in this way we can create axis and uh, the fourth option over here you can see that is uh, we, uh, if there is some cylindrical face so let's try to create some cylindrical face for this cube so go, go in sketching mode on this face select a circle and uh, you have to draw a circular element you have to first of all fix it because for fully defined elements you can create a features then you can just select this sketch and you can wear an instant 3d so we can directly drag this and create a feature that is extrude feature now suppose i want to create axis of this uh, cylindrical body then i have to just select the cylindrical body it automatically detects that that is a cylindrical body or face and you can create this now the second most thing important thing that is uh, point and face but it is important to understand that is cylindrical or conical face means if i select this uh, this uh, circular edge also then also i can create axis but it is not selecting us so it means that we cannot create we have to create a cylindrical face this is cylindrical face this is not a cylindrical face so that is important thing over here now we will try to understand the point and face plane option for that purpose let us create a, some plane and uh, from that plane we have to create n number of points and we will try to create a uh, axis with respect to the with the help of these planes and the points Suppose we are going to we again select the reference plane, select this face again at 100 mm, go to this plane and uh, go in sketching mode, select point option, correct n number of sketch points. When you are done with this, select all the points, select all the points, make them fix, and just exit from sketching mode. Now you can see I have created a points on the planes. Now suppose again if I select the reference axis and if I select this point and this plane. Now I can you can see that I have created a axis that is perpendicular to this face and passing through this point. Similarly, we can create a axis that is passing through this point and perpendicular to this face. So axis is in this direction because it, this face is this, so perpendicular direction is this direction. Similarly when I select this point and this face, suppose I select this face and this point, you can see that I can create a axis in this direction that is perpendicular to this plane. Okay, so in this way we can create axes using point and plane. Okay, suppose again I can select this face and this point 
and so this is the direction that is perpendicular to this so you can create axis in this direction so in this way we can create axis in solidworks 2020 that's all in this video tutorial in our upcoming video tutorial we are going to see solidworks coordinate systems and the points and center mass bound bounding box and meter reference options don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you